Hey everyone, a short video today. In this video, I'll talk about a common error that beginners get when they're using Flask, uh, why it happens, and how to prevent this error. So I already wrote some code that's going to fail when I demonstrate it. So let me run that now, Python API test.py. So I'll go to the URL. And that's not the error. Uh, the endpoint that I have is API. Okay, so this is the error. It's a 405 method not allowed error. And it basically says the method is not allowed for the requested URL. Well, the reason why this happens is because when you're sending requests to any API or any website, uh, there are different methods that you can use. Typically, when you use a browser, you are sending a GET request. And if you fill out a form in a browser, typically that is sent using a POST request. There are other uh, methods, but GET and POST are the two uh, main ones. So I have this POSTman open, um, and this will let me choose the type of method that I want to uh, use for the request. So let me go to the URL and send, and I get the 405 error again. But if I change it to something else, I get the result, which is you made it. So here is the problem. This methods part of the uh, route for API has post and delete, meaning only post and delete requests will be processed on this endpoint. If you don't use post or delete, you will end up with that 405 method not allowed error. So to fix this, I'll add git as one of them. And sublime is acting funny. Okay, so git server should have restarted. Now if I go to the endpoint, I get you made it, which is exactly what I want here. So I can only send these methods through the request. If I send something else, I will get that 405 error. So uh, if I do a git here, I get you made it. If I do a delete, which is also there, I get you made it. And if I do something else, uh, some of these I've never seen before, like lock, um, method is not allowed because it's not one of the three. And typically, uh, you'll use these first five here. That's probably why they're the first five. So Git is for retrieving information. You're not trying to change anything on the server. While the other four, you do want to change something on the server. Well, you're requesting to. It's up to the server to actually let you change those things. But post and put are very similar. You're putting data uh, on the server somehow, like you're creating a user. Um, you're entering a username and password, something like that, or you're updating some existing information. Uh, likewise with patch, patch can be used for updating existing information. And these are just by convention. You can use whatever method you want. So if you want to send everything with delete requests, um, you can do that without actually deleting anything. You can use deletes to retrieve data, deletes to uh, post data, but it wouldn't make any sense. You're just, you won't be following the convention at that point, but you could do it but ideally you'd use the proper method um, along with its convention. So that's all I want to say in this video. I just want to show you how to get around that 405 error, just in case you ever get it, because it's something that you'd probably run into if you were just starting out with Flask. So if you have any questions about this video, uh, just leave a comment down below and I'll answer it as soon as I can. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this. Thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.